Who would have imagined you could build a huge planetarium out of cardboard? But that's exactly what we did. Jenny Combs, a math teacher at the same school where I teach, we decided to challenge our students to build a huge dome that we could then turn into a planetarium. The geometry students spent a month figuring out the best dimension and the sizes on these scale models, and this is the scale model that they came up with. It looks rather complicated, but it's just made out of two different sizes of triangles. We've got a series of pentagons, and we've got a series of hexagons. So the pentagons have three sides. Two sides are A length, you can see it here. And one side is the B length, you can see it here. And then we've got the hexagons. Now the hexagons have the B side which is the same as the B side on the other triangles, but then it's got the two C sides. So this makes a larger, different dimension hexagon. Now to cut these out, we had long sheets of cardboard that are white on one side, and then I found these straight edges, and we literally had the students taking knives, which seemed dangerous, but it worked out, cutting these things to shape. And then we've left a tab on the end there so that they'll bend up. I'll show you why in a second. Now we didn't want the dome just sitting on the floor. We wanted to be able to fit a chair in there and fit the projector in there. So we added this skirting at the bottom. You can see the dimensions here. That allowed us even to fit a chair inside of there so that uh, people could sit comfortably or people could lay around on the ground. Now one of the things we also decided was to attach these skirting pieces together with this spacer. It added more support and it allowed us um, because all of our dimensions weren't perfect, it allowed us to sort of spread this out. Now, how did we get all these together? We lifted the tabs up, drilled a hole right through, and then everything on this whole thing is held together by these magical box rivets that I found. I'll put the link on my webpage so you can find them or down in the description. And they're just these nylon that go pop, 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 and they rivet together. <clears throat> you pull them apart, and they come apart so you can take it apart every year and put it back together. And this is what it looks like on the inside. It's so cool. It's 16 feet wide, so it's enormous. You can fit a class of 30 inside of here, and these are high school kids, and it's 10 feet tall. There's no claustrophobia, there's nothing. It's just absolutely beautiful inside. Now remember, I wanted this to be a planetarium, so I had to come up with some way to put a projector in there, and we couldn't afford a fancy one. So I started experimenting, and here's what I came up with. I bought these super cheap, cheap stands, and over the course of a month, um, I, I cut and figured out dimensions. You could see them popping up on the screen, and this is what we came up with. All right, so this is the stand that's gonna hold the projector. You'll see it in a moment. And then this is the one that's going to hold the mirror dome, that's going to reflect the image up onto the inside of the white surface of our geodesic dome. Now here's the mirror dome. I got this from a custodial supply store, and it's just curved. So it's convex on the outside here, nice and highly polished. And then there are several different sizes. I decided to go with the one that was 10 inches tall and 19 inches wide. Now that's counting that outside rim there. And then this sets right on top of the mirror dome stand. And this one had hooks. This is how they attach it to the wall. And they hooked on perfect on the stand so that this thing wouldn't move around. Boy, when you get your projector all set up, you don't want it moving around or when it gets bumped falling off of there. And when you get inside the dome, this is what it looks like all put together. So we've got our projector stand here, and then you gotta have speakers with a good subwoofer, and then you've got the mirror dome on top of that. Now, you have to, depending on um, the throw length, uh, the image length, and the focal length, and everything else of your projector, you'll have to move that back and forth, but you'll find the magic spot. The better the projector, the better the image.
and then you've got yourself an immersive environment. Thousands of students have been able to come and be inside that dome and be inspired by science and technology and engineering and mathematics. And it's been a really, really incredible experience. We've been building this thing since 2009 and every year we patch it up and we set it back up again. And this is one of the things I love about science. You can see some of the other things I love about science. They're popping up all around me on the screen. And I hope that this inspires you to go big or go home.